Wave Show. We're heading to Texas. Please welcome beach volleyball student athlete, Sudden McTavish. How's it going, Sudden? It's going great. Thank you for having me. First and foremost, how has your summer been? What's life been like these past several months while you've been home? It's been really great. Um, I have an older sister who just graduated from Texas Tech, so she's been home, and she works for Dell from home since they're not in Austin anymore. Um, and so it's been really nice having the whole family home. Like I have a little brother and little sister. So getting all the family together has been super nice. And I've been taking some summer courses through my community college. I took microeconomics and I took my art credit, which was really fun this summer. And I've been playing a lot of volleyball, which I know that is very weird. Like since everyone in California hasn't been able to play lots, but, um, I've been able to play with a lot of my friends who come home from other colleges like FSU and TCU and have been able to train with them, which has been super nice. So I've just been spending all the time with my family, doing some school and playing lots of volleyball. So it's been pretty nice quarantine for me here in Texas. You mentioned that you've been able to play volleyball since being home with with friends around the area that also are involved in this sport. Can you talk about more about how you've been able to stay close to beach volleyball during all of this? Yes. So I have been training at my club that I trained at before college. And so um, it's been super nice. I train like three or four times a week and like I have a coach there coaching me. And of course it's not obviously the same as like the world-class coaching that I get at Pepperdine with like Marcio, John and Delaney. But it's been super nice being able to actually have touches on the ball. And I've been trying to, like, incorporate things that I that Marcia has told me to work on and, like, our end-of-season meeting and stuff. So I've been trying to focus on that kind of stuff. And just, like, being able to get touches on the ball is really nice when I know that other people don't get the chance to. How has that communication been between your coaches? You mentioned Delaney, John, and Marcio. What have you guys been doing to make sure that you all are on the same page and that everyone's been in contact during all of this? The communication has been pretty good um, through all of this. It's obviously been a little weird. Like, we don't get a lot of information. Like, whenever Marcio gets information, it comes right to us. Like, we know everything. But, like just because nobody really knows what's going on. It's kind of been like all over the place, but Marcio, John, Delaney have been super good with having team meetings and like making sure everyone knows what's going on at all times. And they use the seniors a lot to communicate to us, um, which is really nice because we all get to like all the new freshmen and stuff, get to like know the seniors more because we get to talk to them through the coaches and stuff. So communication has been pretty good throughout this time, even though it's been super chaotic. What are some things that you've taken away from all of this as a student athlete who's used to a crazy busy schedule? I've learned that I've gotten pretty good at like adapting to adversity and change and like really seeing the positives and everything, which is super cool. Like I've been able to create a new schedule for myself um, because I really do like schedule. Like I feel like a Lots of student athletes do like that um, because that's what we're used to. So it's nice that I've been able to kind of like create this schedule for myself of like working out. And then since I've taken summer courses, um, been able to like work out, do school, like do homework and study and then like go play volleyball and like spend time with my family. It's nice kind of like being able to create that own schedule for myself. So I've kind of learned that I'm gotten pretty good at adapting to a lot of change because this is definitely a big one. So What was beach volleyball like growing up in the state that you've lived in your whole life? I really, like, didn't know much about beach volleyball until – so I played indoor until 15th year, and so that's when I transitioned to beach. But um, my first year of indoor volleyball was 12th, and my indoor volleyball coach actually had a beach club. And so she was like, why don't you come try beach? Like, I don't know, maybe you like it. And so I went to my first beach practice, and it was – so much fun I loved it so much it's definitely like a lot different from California and stuff because you're not actually on the beach it's like a bunch of man-made places in people's backyards um but it's been really fun I really like the aspect of like being able to have your own schedule because in indoor volleyball it's always like um your coach decides everything but now you get to be like your own person and so 
well, getting back to like growing up in Texas, um, I just really, the people around here, Beach Volleyball has grown so much in Texas. My little sister plays, and she's a little a little stud. She's really good. But there's been so many new players, new juniors rising in Texas. It's been growing so much, and it's so cool to see the sport growing in Texas, even though there's not really many beaches on, like, Galveston. So it's really cool to see the sport growing, like, not places where there are beaches usually. So, yeah. Walk us through your recruiting process. How did Marcio get in contact with you? And then when you find out that Pepperdine's interested and it's in Malibu and you get to play on the beach and go to school. Um, so I just, I went to a Pepperdine camp. I had heard about Pepperdine, like amazing campus. Um, girls go to practice on the beach, Christian University, which is super important to me as well. Um, but so I went to a Pepperdine camp. My dad was like, you know what, why don't we just go? This was when I was like 15-ish. And I just, I loved Pepperdine so much. And after that camp, Marcio contacted me and was like super interested in me. And I was just so excited because that after I visited Pepperdine, I knew that that was it. Like that was that was the place I wanted to go. And knowing that Pep, like Marcio was interested in me, like I was so excited. and. Um, it happened all really fast after that one camp. I didn't visit any other schools. I had visits at other schools. I canceled those visits because I just knew that this was the place where I wanted to go. And so, yeah, it was super cool. And final question for you. Once we get back on campus, what are some of your goals as we look ahead and hopefully remain positive during all of this? Um, I Some of my goals, or one of my goals was that I wanted to give 100% effort 100% of the time. Um, that's something that I that we talked a lot about last season and something that I want to carry into this next season. And I just feel like it's really important to give 100% effort 100% of the time, especially because this past season got cut short. Like, I don't want to take anything for granted. I want to go for every ball. I want to get every ball and get better each time I step on that court and or on the sand. And I just um, want to push my teammates to do the same. Waves, meal prepping has become a popular way to stay on track with your nutrition goals. Enjoy fresh, delicious, and affordable healthy food made just for you. Visit eatnakedla.com to get started today.